Hello, eBay sellers of the interwebs. Hi guys, it's Misty and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Misty and I am a reseller on eBay, Poshmark and Mercari. And I also own a brick and mortar antique store in Bedford, Indiana called Wildflower Antiques. This video is my what sold on eBay for the week of August 19th through 25th, 2019. I do my record keeping on from a Monday through a Sunday and uh, it was a good week, which makes me a little bit nervous sometimes because sometimes when you have a good week, one week, the next week. Mm. So let's go ahead and get on with what sold this week on eBay. Okay guys, here we go. So the week of August 19th through 25th was a good week. You can see here my sales were up 47.2%. My total sales were $709.18. Best day of the week for me was Thursday. Worst day of the week was Saturday. Uh, so Thursday was a great day and I actually had a decent Sunday too so which is um, kind of unusual for me I don't have typically have a ton of sales on the weekends most of my sales occur during the week let's go ahead and get started this is a 1970s vintage men's suede fringe jacket I picked this up at a yard sale um, I believe I paid five dollars for it it did have some condition issues. The first condition issue it had, it was that it smelled a little bit like smoke. And I didn't realize that until once I had got it in my house and I thought, boy, that jacket really smells. So I got this at the beginning of summer and what I did is I, every possible day that I could hang this upside or outside in the sun, I did. And, and I probably, gosh, I probably put it outside for two months straight. Um, and I got all of the smell out of it. The best thing that I have researched to get cigarette smell out of things is sunlight and heat. So uh, I stuck it outside. Then, just to test it a little bit, after I had folded it up, after I had taken pictures of it, obviously, I had folded it up and I put it in a plastic, and I sealed it in a plastic bag, which is how I keep all of my inventory. And then about two weeks later, I opened up the bag just to kind of smell it again, and it still smelt smoke free. I sold it for $52.65. Uh, it took a couple weeks to sell. I probably mm, could have gotten a little bit more out of it had I waited a little bit closer to full jacket season or festival season, but I wanted to go ahead and get it up. It did have some condition issues. This jacket was modified by the original owner. And let me find the picture here but gosh it had this great suede on the out on the back of it too you can see here some of the lining was a bit frayed and the pockets were coming and uh, the stitching was coming out of the pockets a little bit and right they right let me just zoom in on this picture right in here was like a glue residue and I look I noted that in the listing it was almost as if the original owner wanted this to sit a certain way when they wore it and they used a, a glue stick or some sort of a glue adhesive to tack that down. I did note that in the listing, uh, as you can see here. Uh, where the glue residue, oh, there are areas on the inside that appears to be a glued for fit. The glue residue is still present. I have not attempted to clean it, but it could be cleaned. Um, so it is, it's a great jacket. So I'm, I'm excited for the new owner to get it and to love it and wear it and give it life again. Okay, the next item is this Levi's Acid Stone Wash Denim Jacket. This is a trucker jacket. I picked two of these up at a yard sale. I believe I paid a dollar, no, 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 no. I paid five, five dollars a piece for them. Um, and they, I only listed one right now. I wanted to see how, how it did. This one was one that I had a little bit of issues with. If you follow me on my Insta stories, that the customer wanted me, so that I agreed to send it via FedEx overnight for $8, which I never agreed to do that. So 
and they kept trying to email me outside of eBay. So whenever a customer does that, make sure that you redirect them and tell them to send all correspondence to you through eBay so you have record of your cor correspondence back and forth. And as soon as I started sending them messages through eBay only, they kind of changed their tune a little bit. So always, always do all correspondence through eBay the eBay messaging system and how you do that is you can you know you can just click message buyer and you can message back and forth um, this item sold for fifty five dollars plus eight dollars shipping it fit in a plat fatted a padded flat rate envelope and away it went hopefully it'll stay that way and it was a great jacket and still you know I have in the listings just what the sat size was it came from a smoke free home oh this was I must have copied and pasted that from my Poshmark listing. Uh, and it was a good sell. I have another one I'm going to get listed to. This one was a little bit bigger of a size. I have one that's a little bit smaller of a size. This one was a large. I think I, the other one I have is a medium. This is a coach. This next item is a coach signature logo crossbody. This was my own personal purse that I carried for a while and then just never carried anymore. So I decided to sell it. Uh, it is it is an authentic coach purse. I sold it for twenty or twenty forty one dollars and twenty cents, and it did ship in first class. It was a you know just a crossbody purse, uh, and it shipped first class. So I went ahead and included free, sh free shipping. It did have some wear on the inside. All of that is noted in the listing. Has a few spots from use, but the outside of it was really in immaculate condition. I didn't use it very often, but, and I got it, I, as with most everything else that I have, I, I bought this pre-owned myself, I did not buy it new, um, I just didn't carry it that often. All right, next item is this, this one kind of surprised me how quickly this one sold. It was a, a vintage Biggie Smalls Notorious B.I.G. Big Papa t-shirt from Brooklyn Mint, here is the tag. I didn't, I didn't realize that this was anything. I mean, it has a Biggie Smalls on it. I mean, so that in itself makes it a fabulous shirt. But I didn't realize that these were highly sought after. Um, this was from the 90s. It was made in the USA. Well, it wasn't from the 90s. It was from 2005. Uh, made in the USA. It was a great shirt. It had the lyrics to uh, Big Papa on it. It's like a memorial shirt. It did have issues. It did have a little bit of bleach staining on the bottom of the shirt, as you can see there in the photo. Uh, but the back was great. It was still a very wearable shirt. Um, it was a size 1X, which is an over, it's an oversized size. Um, it was a single stitch shirt, slightly faded from age. There are a few discolorations towards the bottom of the shirt, which I noted in the listing. So, cool shirt. And I actually passed one of these up this week, and I'm kicking myself. It was a tank top, though, but I still should have bought it. it but this one sold within oh, a day for $38.50, buyer paid shipping. This one was another one that sold very, very fast for me. I pay, oh, the this one, the Biggie Small shirt, I bought for $1.99 at Goodwill. This Rastafari shirt, I also paid $1.99 for at Goodwill. This was a um, kind of a Bob Marley hippie boho shirt. These tend to do very well. Uh, this was in great condition. The colors were, were still very vibrant on it. Um, it was a just a Delta Pro 8 shirt, size extra large, and it sold for $22.50. And this sold within a day of me having it listed. It sold pretty quickly. This next shirt is a Harley Davidson men sleeveless button down embroidered shirt. I got this, I think I paid $3 for it at a yard sale. Uh, it had an embroidered back to it here. Boy, these pictures are not the best. Hmm. Uh, it had, it, these, the sleeves were factory distressed. It was not a shirt that somebody had just cut the sleeves off of. It was made that way. It was a great size. It was a 2X and had this embroidery on the back. It was a great shirt. It was in excellent condition and it sold for $32.50. Buyer paid $8 shipping. I did send this in a padded flat rate. It was a pretty heavy shirt. 
All right, the next item. Boy, this sweater. Um, this sweater has sold twice for me. Uh, this is the second time. Well, this actually has sold three times. The first time the buyer returned it because it didn't fit her. Second time, the buyer never paid. Third time is now, and the buyer has paid. Uh, I did run a 25% off sale. Uh, this was a really cool uh, little kitty cat sweater made by Jennifer Adams. This is from the 80s. Very cute. The little cats on it were embroidered on. It had no flaws on it. It had this kind of like silvery iridescent threading through it that was really pretty. It was a great size. It was a size large. I don't know. But it finally sold for $16.12 and buyer paid shipping. I sent it in a padded flat rate envelope. This next item is a Tommy Bahama Men's Modern fit silk tropical shirt. I will only buy these if I can get them very cheap. I did buy this on a half price day at Goodwill, so I paid $2.50 for it. Um, I, it sold for $20.06 on the 20% off sale. It did ship first class and the buyer paid shipping. It was in great condition. It was a size extra large, 100% silk. Just the market's just kind of saturated with these right now. I'm just not picking them up anymore. This next item is an item that I got at, I paid $4.54 at Goodwill. It's the sack. It's an indigo patchwork satchel. Uh, th this one's unusual. Normally the sacks are the kind of the crochet looking, and the leather ones tend to do pretty well, especially if they still have the, um, the little token right there on it. This one had was a great clean purse. It was nice and clean on the inside. Lots of pockets. So it's very patchwork bohemian with this big stitching on it. Sold for $25.50. By, and I did offer free shipping on this. It did ship first class. No, actually, I think it shipped in a padded flat rate. Um, but I have another one of these and I need to get listed. Very good. I like those purses. This next item is a vintage Reebok windbreaker. I got this for $1.50 at a thrift store. Uh, it's a little track jacket. Red it had the Reebok spell out down the side. You can see it had the vintage tag in there. Uh, sold for $21.94 on a 25% off sale. I did offer free shipping. It was lightweight. It shipped first class. I've had this for a, a little while, and I'm surprised I've had it for as long as I have because it's a really... It's a really cool vintage jacket. All right, this next item is the La Bien 2011 glass ornament. These are from Pier 1. Uh, Pier 1 puts these out every year, and there are a lot of collectors that do collect these. I paid 99 cents for this at Goodwill, and it sold. this one sold for $16.12, and the buyer paid shipping. I have another one of these listed in a different color. So basically, it's a reverse painted ornament. Uh, this one still had the box and the paperwork with it, and there is the date. It was a little faded to see the date, but it was 2011. Okay, next item. <laughs> this is a McDonald's tray. I found this at the bins, and I thought, you know what? It's lightweight. Why not try it? And I had it for a while. Uh, probably paid a dollar for it at good at the at the outlet. Sold it for $17.06. The buyer paid for shipping. Um, I don't remember. Let me see if I had a date on it. No, it didn't have a date in it. But I think that from what I researched, these were in, you know, these were, they used these in the 90s, this design and imprint style. I mean, I'm sure that some McDonald's probably still use these, but it, why not McDonald's tray? There's a collector out there for everybody for everything. <laughs> this next item are a pair of jeans. Oh my gosh, I'm not selling jeans because I do not do well with jeans. I have jeans forever. And look, I sold these jeans for $12.19 on a 25% off sale. The buyer did pay shipping. These were a Just USA distressed um, skinny jean from, a st they were Stitch Fit, Stitch Fit Fix. Woo, that's a mouthful. Stitch Fix brand. Uh, they were size 12. And or size 31, which converts to a size 12. They were really nice. I just took a front and the back, and this was kind of feathering on the denim itself. 
this um, you know kind of design right here factory distressed I have these forever you can see here's my brick background that I no longer use but I've had these since the beginning of last summer so finally sold them yay this surprised me y'all remember Boyd's Bears Boys bears were huge back in the 90s and early 2000s. This was just a little bitty, little bitty um, jack-o'-lantern trinket box. It was small. I want to say, oh, I think somewhere we have the picture. Yeah, it was itty bitty. It was like an inch big. So small. And it had this itty bitty little mousy eating candy corns. Let me see if he, I think he, we got a picture of the little, oh, no, we didn't get a picture of the mouse, but with it, you ruler, but it was like even smaller. It fit inside here. Um, as you can see, and it had this little tray of candy corns. Ugh, okay, so cute. This is Boo, and I don't know, I don't think I have a day. Yeah, no, I don't have a day on here. This sold within a day. Um, at, as soon as we listed it, it immediately had a couple watchers on it. And I, I just was like, oh, it's Halloween. We'll just go ahead and put it up. So, like I said, this was in a box lot of things that I got at an auction. It, I might have even gotten it for free. Um, it, this one did not have the original box with it. But I found a little box and I, you know, I, I, I packaged it carefully and sent it on. Uh, it sold for $15.25 and the buyer paid Five twenty-five first class shipping. I mean, I want to say it's not a huge profit, but I got it for free, so it's a great profit margin for me since I have nothing in it. Uh, so definitely, I will. You know, if I find these for like super cheap, like less than a dollar, I'll buy them again. But it just was a quick. It was a quick sale. Uh, Mickey Mouse ears sold these. These were an infant size. They were in excellent condition. I find these a lot at Goodwill for 99 cents, so I still buy them. Um, I was running a 25% off sale on a lot of items in my store. Sold this for $9.74, and the buyer paid shipping. Yeah, you can see here it was an infant size. Oops, let me click on this picture. Infant size. I have a pink one that I'm getting ready to list. This one's like black, so it's a classic. More for the boys, and then the pink one I think has Minnie Mouse on the uh, on the little hat here. Next item, this is this little Bunnykins piggy bank. I paid 99 cents for this at Goodwill. Will not buy it again. I just wanted to try it and see. It is made by Royal Dalton, and I got it thinking that maybe this, since it was the commemorative, that it might do well with the with collectors. For 99 cents, I tried it. Uh, I had it for a while. Ended up running a 25% off sale, and it sold for $9.19, and the buyer paid shipping. California Raisins. I have a lot of these. Uh, I, I think I got these. These were also in like a box lot of things that I got from an auction. I have more of these. I just wanted to kind of try these and see how they would do. Um, I have a lot of repeats of these, so I probably will check out the ones I have and maybe just do a sell similar on this because I think I have these exact same ones. Um, so I had them for a while, and they did sell for $12.50, and they did ship first class. The buyer paid $4.25 for shipping. My goodness, I've had these shorts for a long time. Uh, for oh, probably two years. Uh, these were lovesick, high-waist shorts. I thought that they were kind of cute with the musical notes on them. I'll kind of zoom in here on the, the graphic. Uh, what I did is I ended the listing, brightened up the pictures a little bit, swapped some words around like I might have put um, love sick women's musical note high waist. You know, just swap around the words a little bit in the title um, and they ended up selling. I was running a 25% off sale at the time, uh, but they sold for $9.19 and the buyer paid $5.25 shipping. They did ship first class. They were lightweight, but won't buy these again. And I had these listed on Poshmark and Mercari as well for a couple of years and they still did not sell on that platform either. This was just a fun little item that I got. I got several of these. This is the last one I had left. I paid 99 cents for them at Goodwill. They are these Wellington Reweb chair kits. 
you know, for these little, those classic web chairs and that were so great. They're, they're really, I really miss these chairs. Uh, they're much better than the, the folding soccer chairs that we, I always say soccer chairs because we always take them to soccer games and bonfires, ones that fold up, but these are just, they're much more comfortable chair. Um, and I'm not sure that they really make them anymore. So people do like them. And when they can find these reweb kits, they do buy them so they can make repairs on their chair. Um, so this one sold. I had it for a while, but that was okay. I paid 99 cents for it. It was an easy thing to take pictures of. It was an easy thing to ship. It did ship first class. Sold it for uh, $7.46 on a 25% off sale. And the buyer paid uh, for first class shipping. And all the information that you need for your listing is right there on the packaging. So that's awesome. Makes it easy to list. So I will pick these up again if I can get them cheap enough. This little Dash Mini cook Cooker is something that I bought for my daughter for Christmas last year, thinking that she could take it to the dorm. She never did. It never got used. It never got open. I had full intention of taking it back to the store. Never did. So went ahead and listed it on eBay. It sold for $11.44 on a 25% off sale, and the buyer paid shipping. It's just a little, just a little grill, just a little mini grill, big enough for one cheeseburger. All right, next item. This is the last one of these. I, I think I got a bunch of these at the bins. This was the very last one that I had. They took forever to sell. I won't, wouldn't buy these. I mean, I might buy them again. No, actually, I won't buy them again. It sold for $3.75 on a 25% off sale. Luckily, the buyer did pay shipping, but boy, I didn't make any money on this. And I will not be picking these up again. I don't know. There there were different colors. The blue, or, the blue ones, and I don't know what's different about them, but the blue ones sold better than the orange ones. So, don't know. But it's gone. This next item is River Road Recipes. I got this at a yard sale for a quarter. Uh, sold for $7.69 on a 25% off sale. I did offer free shipping for this. It shipped media. It was like two bucks to sh or two fifty to ship out. Uh, this was from Baton, Louis Baton Rouge, Louisiana from 1976. I know that my friend Tina at Gemini Thrift sells these quite a bit, but I don't know. I guess at a quarter, I might buy it again, um, but I'm not sure. But this one did sell, so I wanted to give it a try. It was in decent condition. I mean, it did have a little bit of corner folds here, um, but it didn't have any markings on the inside. I don't know, but it sold. Bye-bye. This next item sold very fast. It sold within a day. This is a Klein Tools insulated beverage hauler. We picked this up when we visited or when we were moving my daughter into college. We stopped at a Goodwill, paid five dollars for it. Um, I sold it. Uh, I saw that other comps on this they were selling for thirty dollars. So I listed mine at twenty eight seventy five and I sold it. Um, buyer did pay for shipping. Sold it very fast. Uh, so I would, we'll pick these up again. My husband find, found this, so good job, Mark. Good job, my husband. I didn't even see that thing. He picked it up and we bought it. This next item I got at a yard sale. I believe I paid $5 for it. It's a Harley Davidson from Las Vegas. It was brand new with tags. It was a size 3X. So I did pay up for it at a yard sale, but it sold very quickly for $28.75 and the buyer paid shipping. The Harley Davidson t-shirts, I have a lot of them. They used to do much better than what they do now. I think that if you have the bigger sizes like this, they tend to do better. Like the other Harley Davidson shirt that I showed earlier with this, the sleeves that were cut off, um, this one here, um, it was a 2X. So I think the bigger size tend to do better, or if they're new with tags, but I have a lot more, so I I don't know. I, I'm kind of a sucker for these if I can find them cheap enough. Sometimes I can find them at Goodwill for $1.99, so I still buy them. They're just not as good as what they used to be. Okay, this little item here was also something that I ended the listing, just refreshed it up a little bit, just to move it, because I've had this for a over a year. Um, just this, it was brand new. I bought it at Goodwill. 
I think I paid $2.99 for it. Um, brand new Texas Hold'em pocket game. Uh, it was sealed, never been opened, sold it for $15.25, and I did offer free shipping on this. It did ship first class, thank God, but won't buy this again. I'm not doing well in these little pocket, and I'm getting ready to show you another one, too. Or maybe I already did. Well, no, I've sold one. I just relisted an, another couple of them. I'm, I'm not picking them up again. They're just not moving for me. What I probably should do is uh, just lot them together and sell them as one lump sum and get rid of them. This next item was something that I got, I believe I paid three or four ninety nine for it at Goodwill. Um, it was still in the box. I did open up the box to test it to make sure that it worked and it does. And it, you know, it had the, the cardboard around the plug still. It had the plastic around the, um, the can opener itself. I did have to plug it in because this is something that needs to be charged before it works. So you have to set it out to charge it, you know, before it will work. So I plugged it in um, and let it charge up to see that it still works and it does. Guys, these things sell very, very well. So if you see these Black & Decker cordless um, can openers or even the shelf can openers or the mountable can openers, if they're new in the box, they will sell very well. People love these things. And um, this one is not made anymore. Um, and you can see that I, w I opened it to test it. It must be charged in order for it to work. I wanted to put that kind of high up in the description because I didn't want the buyer to, you know, plug it in and immediately expect for it to work. And it doesn't. It has to charge. So I wanted to make sure that the buyer did see that in the listing. Um, so the box did show signs of wear. I always like to put that too because if someone's wanting to give this as a gift, more times than not, they still want the box to look nice if they're giving it as a gift to someone. So you want to put in that the box does have some wear to it. Um, it wasn't in the best shape, but the can opener inside was. But it sold for $70. Uh, and the buyer paid shipping. So this was a great sale. It was a great return on my investment. I will definitely buy these again when I see them. And my best sale of the week was this U2 poster. I also picked this up when I was moving my daughter in. At, and I stopped at the world's biggest thrift store that I've ever seen in my life. And this was sitting just nonchalant. They had it originally marked for a dollar. But it was 50% off day at this thrift store. So I got this poster for 50 cents. It was, this is a very rare poster. It was from the Red Rocks concert in 1983. It is an original poster still in the shrink wrap, as you can see here. Uh, so I was pretty excited when this, when I looked up comps for this. And I think we looked up comps in the store, and some of them were selling for, um, well, one of them had sold for $75. The one that had sold for $75 had some issues with it, um, with the shrink wrap, and it had some bending issues. This was in, this one that I listed was in mint condition. There were no issues with it whatsoever. So I thought, I'm going to go ahead and mark mine up a little bit, and I did best offer. Um, I had it listed for... Uh, 9560 I did take a best offer of $85 um, or I sent them a counter offer I think they sent me an offer of 70 and I counter offered at 85 and they accepted um, it did ship overseas it went to Italy the buyer paid like $40 to have it shipped to them so that in itself was amazing to me it just shows the the rarity of this poster and that the, the there's collectors out there for these sorts of things um, and I got a little chuckle when I was packaging it up because, you know, I wanted to make sure that it was, you know, being treated very kindly by the postal service. And, um, you know, we, 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 we put fragile stickers all over it and, you know, we kept reference, referencing the Toy Story movie that was fragile. It must be Italian. And this was going to Italy. So it was kind of fitting for that as well, but very happy with this sale. Um, I, as always, when things this high sell and they go overseas, I won't rest until I know that it gets t to the hands of the, the customer and it's in great condition still. 
Um, so hopefully <laughs> that will happen. And, you know, it, typically it always does, but you never know. That always makes me nervous, but not too shabby, if I do say so myself. But here's the thing. I listed a lot. I listed, 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 which is always the key to reselling is you have to stay active and keep listing. Uh, I also, one thing that I did focus on a lot last week was re listing some, some of my sale listings on both Poshmark and eBay. And it worked. I mean, there are certain things that I'm really trying to get rid of that I've had for a while. So I'm just technically trying to just at least make my money back on those items. So if you um, end an item and then you just upload the pictures again, if something is stale, I'll just go ahead and do that and then brighten up the pictures a little bit and change the, the listing, the title and the listing just a little bit and and see how it goes. And sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Um, but I had, you know, I do sell on Poshmark and Mercari as well. Poshmark sales were decent. Mercari sales were also decent. I really had a good week. On eBay, though, let me kind of rewind here a little bit. eBay, my total sales for the week. Now, this does not include my cost of goods or my fees and taxes. However, I do keep my cost of goods very low. Um, I don't typically pay more than $5 per thing that I sell. Um, and my total sales last week were on eBay were $709.18. They were up 42.2% from last week, which doesn't take much because last week wasn't that great. But 42% uh, increase in sales is great. I sold 25 items on eBay. On Poshmark, my sales were $170.65. I sold 11 items on Poshmark. And on Mercari, my sales were $106.50. And I sold seven items. Altogether, I sold 43 items out of my house. That's the key. Um, and my total sales were $986.33. I'll take it. Thank you. Um, so the keys are list, 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 list. And if you don't have items to list, then go ahead and just update your stale listings. Give them a little bit of life back in them again. Make them prettier. Make them brighter. Um, I've even gone as far as just switching some words around in my title. It just gives it, just gives it a little bit of newness to your listing. So I suggest that you do that. Be prepared for fourth quarter. I'm telling you, I feel it in my bones. I feel it in my bones that it's going to be good. Fingers crossed. So that is this video for this week. I hope that you um, enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure that you give me a thumbs up. Make sure that you hit the little bell notification and you'll be notified every time I upload a video. And I really, really appreciate you guys watching. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.